time to listen to literally the best album ever potentially <laughs> this is this is this album was made um with the goals of being the worst album ever some some musical legends got together long ago and yeah they put together this album and they accidentally and got really made, really high and then decided yeah. to just dick around and they accidentally <laughs> made the best album ever r- rumor has certainly it. the greatest shit post ever yeah <laughs> so i have to well don't have to but i am choosing to embark on a journey into the world of this album and see if the rumors really hold up and if it is truly the best album of the decade already we're only in a few months into 2020 but i think it has potential so let's see uh is it a concept album or is it is there anything i should know before listening to it it, I mean, yeah, it is actually, believe it or not, it is kind of a loosely based concept, like, because it was conceived under the, like, like especially with, the like, the first song and kind of, like, the the interludes and how, yeah. you know, like, because some of the instrumentals actually do get kind of dense because of the guitar player. He's, like, he's very, like, um, shreddy, mm-hmm. so he plays, like, a million notes. But basically, it's, like, the concept is it's, you know, it's a a misunderstood classical genius named Frederick von Bartlesby III, right? And he just sits alone, just making all this amazing classical music quotations, right? Because it's it's like it's like avant-garde, like neoclassical is what he calls it, because he's like he's very like um, pretentious, mm. you know. He, yeah. Like people don't really like him. He he's he's basically like a misunderstood genius. So he wants to be understood, and so he created this masterpiece of an album. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful story. Put a tear to my eye. I'm ready to listen. All right. I'm pressing play. Let's hear this boy. Oh, there's some electronic experimentation. There's a a string quartet. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's. (laughs) Oh, man. There's there's instrumentals and then like you know there's there's little vocal bits and then there's some songs that are entirely vocal. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's got a good mix of things. <laughs> oh my god. He believe it or not that that intro song he he did that entire thing himself like he recorded it really? all himself. Yeah, he improvised the entire thing. Oh my god. All in one day. That's how the album started. And then I got on board with it because I really love the idea. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. I want to do something like that one day. Oh, dude, it's so good. Well, because, like, you know, Cora has a, a recording studio, right? So, yeah. you know. You can do anything. Yeah, like, you know, during recording class or even sometimes after or, like, before recording class, whenever we had time, really, you know. Yeah. We would just get together and just fucking dick around a little bit, come up with some music. And some of it, there is, I, I do believe in that album, there actually are some things, certainly ideas, that are genuinely good, and if we really put them to work, then they probably could be really good, like, fully realized, constructed yeah. songs, but at, that misses the point of the album, so. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That, that song, is, that song <laughs> was so chaotic, I loved it. it yeah, that like... pretty much represents the entire album. Not like, not like in terms of sound per se, but certainly in terms yeah. of that chaos. chaos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I gotta turn it up. Oh, it doesn't go up any louder. Wait. Oh, really? Oh. I think yeah, that, that 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 was the only problem I had. I I actually kind of want to go back and make the mix louder. Oh, I'll put some compression on it, but it just got loud. Oh, really? It's got it's got say in two minutes in yeah. <laughs> suddenly kicked up. It's getting intense here. Oh, oh I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. On the piano. It reminds me of like, like glitch core or something. Like some like intense like hardcore EDM shit. It's cool. Oh yeah, it's pretty dance man. Oh my god, he's playing the Minecraft song. Yep. <laughs> you threw that in there and it's in a completely different key too. Oh, that's <laughs> He told me that. All, there's also really fucking. There, there was a. What was it? That song. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was played on a very like shitty fake sounding like. I know it's like, great. Electric board bass. Like it was. It was a bass guitar being emulated by a keyboard. Oh, I figured. I was like, yeah, it sounds kind of like a Seinfeld bass, but like a cheesy. 
Yeah. Well, actually, did you know that the Seinfeld bass song was completely done electronically? Like MIDI? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That totally makes sense. There's probably some dude with the board. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know what's crazy is the, that those are like like those one keyboard things. That's like what like the soundtracks for like porn uses. I know. It's just like, uh, porn soundtracks are the cheesiest fucking thing. Especially back in the day. I know the '70s porn. I literally have a, I have a 12 minute '70s porn song that I use in some videos as like a joke song. Yeah. In the '80s, it was even cooler because there was all the fake drums. Oh like, yeah, I know. Like over the top reverb. '80s drums. Yeah. Dude, this music is it's so funny because it, it, it looks like it fits in the Sims game because we're practicing piano right now. And sometimes people practice guitar here too. So there's piano and gu guitar on the song. And it's overlaying oh. in like a in like an overlapping kind of chaotic way. And that's why it sounds in the Sims whenever everyone's practicing together. You want to know what else is cool about the album is there's actually a few tracks and you'll hear it. You'll hear it when it gets there near the middle of the album. Yeah. There's a set of tracks that were entirely improvised. Entirely. Completely on the spot with, with a bunch of people. Dude, I'm on. The, it's four minutes in, and it sounds really good. I can't tell if it's a second song or if it's like part two of the first song, but it's really good. Yeah, what's cool is like there's no, and this is one thing that I credit Michael for doing is that there's no abrupt stops I in know. the album. It surprisingly, flows very nicely. That's why he was able to put it all into kind of one video. Wait, which Michael was it? Um, his name, like, uh, he's he's a Michael who plays guitar in Mustang Sally. Oh, okay. I, I was I thought it was this this other Michael I knew it was fucking up. Oh no way! I found a dungeon. Oh. Yo. Yes. I really oh, like dude. that black piano. I want to play it, but dude, you could get a fucking spawner, but just don't destroy it without the right tools, or else it's gonna it won't be absorbed. Yeah. Don't don't you need silk touch or something? Yeah. But you can always just. I build, think it's silk touch. You can build right? a trap around it. Yeah. Silk touch. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Holy shit. That was actually, it got really good, like, like four minutes and it got like this cool, like ambient effect on the piano. Oh yeah. Cool. Like, honestly, when I go, when I go back and like, I listen to it, like there, there are definitely some things in that album where like some genuinely good stuff like did happen. Holy shit. And it was really cool. This is so cool sounding. And you want to know what else is cool is like oh. Michael and I, we had this idea to make like it's specifically the instrumental tracks was to make dub versions of the instrumental tracks and i don't know if you know anything about dub music but yeah, like I do. yeah it's putting like you know putting a bunch of crazy effects Overlay flanger shit. delay chorus yeah. all over the instrumental songs and making them sound like just like trippy and dense oh yeah like that that was my idea to do that and he, he loved it man and he would give them different names like i believe there's a song on there called uh crabs and then the dub version of that is called sky crabs oh my god <laughs> that's so cool yeah, dude, michael's a genius man i'll have to i'll have to work with him one day jam out oh totally yo dude that would actually be really good because he's so like what's the word like he's kind of pretentious but in like a really funny way yeah i'm kind of pretentious but... in a funny way too <laughs> oh yeah totally <laughs> But like a kind of like a black humor kind of like. yeah why did I do that okay I'm just gonna put it okay. yo oh, fuck off this is cool how's the fucking um how's the drum track going the uh oh yeah I, I still have to get that done after the other day I still need to like get the motivation to start working on that again but I will get it done Oh, it's all good, dude. I, I've been kind of behind too. I want, I want to start working on that that solo song on the album. The fucking uh, what's it called? Um, Slacker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, like, dude. The I'm thinking of asking. Like, the, like the thing is, like, my, you know, and you already know this. Like, my moods have just been like all over the oh, place. Oh yeah. It's been, it's been a bit up and down. Yeah, I've been but, really unproductive the last few days. Yeah. Partially because the whole trip. Well, dude, like that, that was, was down too. Hmm? That was a crazy trip. That was like, yeah, I know, it was. Like for you, I mean, that was. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh fuck! This is this is such a cool album. Holy shit! Yeah, really? Are you actually into it? Because I, I I was hoping to not like, but too much just on the chance that you would like it. No, I actually like it. Like I don't know. I 
thought it was going to be like, I thought it was going to be laughing at the whole time ago. It sucks. It's actually good. Oh, you're probably, yeah. Like it. Once it gets to the singing portions of it, where the vocals come in, yeah. courtesy of me, Andrew, Maddie, and on some of them, even Xavier, <laughs> you'll probably be laughing. Like, there was one song specifically that Michael and Xavier did where I was crying and laughing. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. Speaking of, I need you for backup vocals in my Minecraft songs. Oh yeah, totally. And I want to go for a sing. I'm going for a similar vibe as this album actually, because I really wanted to make it shit posty, like it's supposed to sound like shit. I don't know if you've heard the demo yet, but it's really shit. No, I haven't. Oh my god, this is, I have a rap song where I got "Loser" by Beck and I made it about creepers. Oh no way! <laughs> oh my god, I hear the vocals. I love it. I think it's Xavier. Oh, is it the one where it's like, let me tell you about yeah. the game? Yeah. It's a, fun, a funny, funny game. Oh my god. Oh my face. It's like, it's hard to pick. It's fucking dope. And do you hear all the delay on the vocals too? I know, it's so delayed. That, that was intentional. I told Michael, I was like, yo, do we need to slap all the delay on this? <laughs> I love it. It totally fits. Dude, this is, this is fucking cool. The presentation's really good. Well, you want to know what really helped too is because like, if Michael had done the whole thing like by himself, I don't think it would be nearly as like interesting. Like, it would just kind of be the same thing over again, which would be really cool. Like it would be, yeah. it would be like getting a good way. But I think the cool thing about collaboration is um, it's that like you know you can and yeah, and you can still find like kind of good ideas even if it is kind of under a, like a lot of stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do with this album. Like that I'm working. On. Oh god, I kept it would ear rape. I love that. Yep. Fortnite music. Fortnite. Funny, funny Fortnite. <laughs> I should have, I should have listened to this while tripping. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to listen to it while tripping. Because as soon as that part came in, you would have been like, oh my god, you would have been crying laughing. So that's the game <laughs> that I play. Let me tell you. <coughs> got a fort, got a night. Fortnite. Funny, funny Fortnite. <laughs> And you wanna know what's even better? He improvised that entirely on the spot. That was fucking cool. Well, I could tell. Him. Like he made that up during the recording. That was fucking. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. And he and he did that multiple times this during the recording session. The ear rapiness. Remember, remember Ram Ranch? You ever heard that? No, I haven't. Okay, listen to a song called the Ram Ranch right now. It's beautiful. Okay. You wanna know what else Blast I really love about? What? what I love about My Classical Genius too is that like um, all those sessions were recorded like within the same time, like around the same time. Yeah. Like they, they were all recorded within. It was, it was all a session. It was all recorded within a span of like two months. Oh yeah, no, it's, it was a good time, dude. We would just show up to recording class with Stone Spunk. Oh my gosh, dude, it was amazing. And a, not every song, but a lot of songs. On it. I'd say like a good chunk of them, and you're gonna hear it, especially when you hear my vocal contributions. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna hear. It, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. No, you're, just, you're yeah, you're gonna hear some oh, yeah. full content. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna work out. That's cool. It's beauty and it's very like raw form. Oh fuck. Ice cold beer. <laughs> Are you on that song? I, heard you laughing. Oh, I, I came up with that chorus. Ice <laughs> cold beer. That was one of my like. I think that's one of the ideas where like, if I were to make an actual song like that, I think it would be good. It would be like like well, it would be like a like a good like country song. If I actually found a way, you know. <laughs> I love the giggly in the back. Yeah, apparently I have a very recordable laugh. Yeah, you do. You have a great laugh. Also, I was like stoned as fuck when we recorded that song. I was like flying. <laughs> that vibe. <laughs> so was Andrew actually. Andrew was laughing a bit. Andrew and 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 Maddie are on that recording. You probably can't hear them as well on that one. You'll hear them better on the other ones. Yeah, I heard some other vocals in the chorus. I think yeah. Yeah. 
We basically did like gang vocals of ice, cold, beer. I love gang yeah. vocals. Too. Oh, it's so much fun. All, all we would do is because you know how like the, the computer lab it's it's a big room but it's like acoustically sealed right yeah it's sealed up what we would do is we would just take one of the mics crank the gain up on the interface all the way up like all the way up i'm not even kidding you and and just like and just shout this is beautiful dude i don't even know what part you're hearing right now and i'm just looking for it this is a guitar solo I want to. I really. I, I want to buy more shrooms just to listen to this song for this album. I would love that, dude. That'd be amazing. He's talking in gibberish right now. He's talking backwards. Oh yeah, that, that's the dub version of. So so the original song is called Country Life, yeah. with the ice cold beer, and then the dub version of it is called Drug Life. <laughs> Yeah, like if you look at the it, at the track list, like you'll see all the names of the songs. They're oh, beautiful. beautiful. Just the song names alone. I mean, before even hearing the album. I gotta check this out. Oh, fuck. Got a fort. Got a night. Oh my god. Fortnite. Funny, funny Fortnite. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I can't find it on YouTube. I looked up. Fr I might have spelled it wrong. So oh, Frederick with the CK. Yeah, he spelled it with a PH. Oh, oh yeah, I, I know it was spelled with a PH. I, 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 but um, I couldn't find the fucking. Uh, it, it ends with a CK instead of like a C. Yeah, yeah that's like Frederick. Von Bartels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just saying I the name. I spelled it right. If you look up, yeah, if you look up Frederick Von Bartels be my classical genius. Are you, you're still listening to it, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, I found it. <laughs> I, I went to the channel and, and I found track 7, Yetus the Fetus slash Abortion Completeness. <laughs> I, I really want to put that album on CD. What I want to do is I want to like mix, mix it a little game. bit. I want to like yeah. mix it so that everything's Ooh, a bit more dab. even. And then I'm going to put them all into a CD. <laughs> it's a masterpiece, dude. I'm telling you, it's a masterpiece of an album. This is great. This needs more listens. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this fucking review and it'll make you famous. I'll get you like Cold. 10 listens. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I could put it on me. I could put on some some music reddits. Get some people to listen to it. Wait, actually? Yeah. You want? Wow, that's weird to think that like people could like people <laughs> outside of my circle All right, Nikki, could actually listen to the album. The well, it turns out if you want it Michael's to. Exes. Hell yeah. Well, it was kind of just a fun to. thing, but I oh, mean yeah. like Yeah, that's true. If that were to, if if it would actually get some buzz, I mean, that would be really cool. I know. Can you imagine that? What, like, I'm not saying, like, this is so unlikely, but can well, you imagine if Michael's that album just, like... Imagine hearing, hearing that on the radio. She was <laughs> I couldn't imagine hearing it on the radio, but I could see it becoming, like, a meme. She was new oh, yeah. When they Maybe, like, someone uses, like, one of those songs in, like, a, like a video, like, a meme or something. Like, dude, that funny, funny Fortnite song, that could be used in a meme. I know, fuck. Perfect. Everywhere with her, cause she was a canoe. <laughs> cause she was a Man, canoe. no one knew oh, that God. love was strong. Oh, wait, uh, dude, this was a song that was entirely improvised. We were so highly recorded this song. I could tell. Like, I, going that, that's me playing the guitar, and I was soaring. Dude, I can't play then guitar. Then she thing. crashed. Oh, oh, dude, it just makes me, like, crashed. feel even more. Like, Xavier and I were just yeah, locked on the Michael. same level. And you're Tell gonna hear me it. about how you cry. Fuck. Oh, how he cried. Oh, I can actually hear parts of it. I can but hear parts he of it coming through your headphones. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to the stream right now. I'm gonna see where his ex fiance. I'm gonna see where you're at. Well, she she was a pop tart. <laughs> a pop tart. And man. she and him loved. Wait, I think that was me. Was that me? Yeah. 
he met her and said, Will you? Yeah, marry I, I was me? high as shit. <laughs> was amazing. Yeah. A Pop Tart, and man. Then he got hungry, and well, she uh -huh. was a Pop Tart. So it didn't last. That was Michael's ex fiance. Now we got. Yo, yo, do it real quick, real quick. Listen up, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the key of this, bro, because my hands are getting real tired. All right, <laughs> all right go right ahead. <laughs> I love that. As we change the key, we talk about. You wanna know what I love about I love that album? Random moaning in the background. What? Hey, Maddie, what? What I love about that album is especially now like in my sobriety that album is a good document of like the peak of my usage because at that point i was like almost like on the daily oh my god like getting high so it was yeah it was pretty great <laughs> it was a different time it was a good time of your opinion and really we're trying to keep opinions low honestly i don't i don't it's it's exhausting like i would want to do every effort too long but like right now they didn't end yeah. up well, she you know. took the oh, kids. Although I do want to start like working on music and stuff. I want to actually be productive. Michael so. got a little yeah, bored. that's the other thing. That's that's and another reason why I'm happy that I'm not. Because, yeah. like, white male. you know, I actually have been like, so getting a lot done. A I've been pretty yeah. productive. So. And man, that didn't go exactly. well. His name was Clark. And I've, I've actually, believe it or not, I've been going Clark. outside of my like, comfort and well, zone he was for a lot of things. I have a kitchen sink. It didn't work out well because it was Michael's oh, neighbor's okay. sink. He would go over there and then he'd put Drano in the sink, if you know what I mean. Maddie, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I sure know what you mean, Xavier. Yeah, it was cum. Now let's <laughs> talk about his next girlfriend. I love the way he's singing. Man, his next girlfriend. <laughs> and I love how, she like, out of, whore. like, balance the vocals are. Like, the vocals are way louder than everything and else. And then he <laughs> found <laughs> his fourth <laughs> wife. And yeah, goes his irritate, fourth like, wife. The, the, the they live for high, 38 it, like, cracks, seconds. <laughs> yeah. She was a fruit fly. And that random yelping in the background. She love got so just married going, and then ah. she died. <laughs> Are you, is there really? I never yeah. heard that. Oh, it's because you're listening oh, to it with headphones. Wait, right? no, 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 no. That's my Sims character, actually. Now let's talk about. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. There's no yelping Jerry in the background. Fell She's lifting weights. So I was so confused. Jerry was a oh my man. God. But it added to the song. Michael was a man. It actually works. They saw I, 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 could, I, could, I could sample a song like that or recreate it Jerry and put it in like a really monster fucking weird stoner song. Like that. His pants, no not sponsored. It's going to be a And well. Michael no, pulled out okay. his big moves. He walked engine, up man. to him and Dude, said, "This energy, oh, I want to transfer a little bit of it to some of my music. Not all of it. In fact, down. most of my music is like a little too serious. But his hands just these first two albums I'm making. As we go oh, yeah, dude, into totally good. The, the, the first one's supposed to be like slightly goofy, but Jerry then the second one's set during the apocalypse, but it's also supposed to be like a total like to him supposed to be goofy said, and kind of stoner. Yo, are you dirt? Oh, yeah, exactly I'm digging like that you album. right like, now. Michael but it's also during the apocalypse. Is that a mirror in your pants? Because yeah. I can like, see myself oh my God, the in them. Kind of like substances that We're like <laughs> little Caesars together. <laughs> that's what Jerry like, said. And Michael said, Because you're hot and I'm ready. Yeah. Hi, and then we'd be like, yo, dude, you want to record a song? He'd be like, hell that? yeah. And then we'd just step right to the Xavier. He would show up like to class, like, so cool. lying high. Oh, well, and we'd just be like, hey, dude, do you want to record a song? And he'd be just like, hell yeah. And we'd just walk right in the street. On a farm I wish now. I was a Drinking all the monster energy. Like, oh, dude, it was the best. Sponsored. The best feeling is just walking in my class. And like, dude, do you want to record a song? Energy. And then we just, we just pump something out. Dude, I love this. Won't return my I love that fucking line he said. About Jerry's so, love. He said, they we, met we, Michael. He said we go together like all Little Caesars hot and ready. Ago, <laughs> like now that. they oh, yeah, yeah. have oh, a dude, pet raccoon. He's, he's a West End kid, so right? They named so, him Cooney. Yeah, yeah after, after George right the, Clooney. The <laughs> and they've got a pet Teletubby. Well, and plus just our scene. Like, and we they ended up hanging out with like the West End kids. So. Yeah, I hung out with a lot of West End kids too. because Corey. And the toothbrush. Yeah. Oh God! Great, the dude. toothbrush gets uh, done, no. man. I know. And he well. cleans the kitchen show. sink again. But Jerry does as well. 
Oh, they're perfect together. Like birds of a feather. I know, I know. Everyone <laughs> smokes in the West End. Jerry yeah. and, and Michael are the versions of yeah. true love. This is a dense dungeon. Holy right, shit! Right, Maddie. Dense, thick. Dense. Dense, like, like the album. That's pretty dense. Some was that Lucas? That's nice. Thank no. you someone very said, much for my vibes, Mom. So someone said I have no idea what I walked into, but this is. Oh, that's. That, I think that's Maddie. Oh, I thought she was Jerry. already in the song though. Well, Jerry. I think she she was in the room we recorded it. In that in the room we recorded it was, it was me, Xavier, Michael, Maddie, and Colin. Man, not to be sexist, but girls just aren't funny. <laughs> About his loves before that. Yeah, that I mean that's kind of a proof fact. <laughs> like you ask someone like are women funny, they're gonna hesitate and <laughs> yeah. the the F and woman stands for funny. <laughs> what do you use to break cobwebs? Is it swords? Oh, yeah, uh, swords. Yeah. Well I guess that's true. Yeah, totally not going into a spider. Michael. On or anything. Look at that, cave spiders. Oh love shit. I forgot they poison you. Hi. Oh, well, that's great. 420. Four. Who's that? I don't know him. You're bashing a pinata to get money. That's like literally a job you can do to make money in this game. You bash a pinata full of money. I should just fill in the Oh, it's okay. Change the key because I'm gonna talk about how much Jerry loves his mom. Oh man, there's a wall of love. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm in like a really dense dungeon right now. Leave her behind. Oh, this. Yeah. I can tell how high Xavier is with the way he's seen. Oh yeah, he he sounds like Bob Dylan. I know, I was like, gonna say that. He literally has, the, he has a Bob Dylan voice. It's the way he's singing, too, like the. the full yeah, beat. he's just he's such a cool dude, nasally man. He just I, like I know, he just lets loose. It's that nasally, like, yeah. mumbling, kind yeah. of. Yeah, and he doesn't have to be high to be totally out there, too. Like, I, I've seen him sober as shit, just wild as fuck, you know? He's, like, always able to. Oh, dude. To bring some chaos to the party. <laughs> And like, and that's why being around him high is like even better. Because he like amplifies it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just catch all the vibes. Yeah. Dude, I gotta get back with him. You totally do. You probably will, honestly. That's why you're gonna move back here, man. Yeah, oh. exactly. So much you haven't experienced. I know. Dude, when are you gonna fucking? When are you gonna move out? We gotta. It, it'll be so much easier with like a roommate for everything to like I want to get a roommate when, when I move there probably no matter what oh you'll probably have a roommate even if it's yeah. not me yeah I'll find someone I just I don't know I don't have a lot of friends anymore yeah. more people hate me no I know what you're saying the problem is though is that my parents want me to stay at home while I go to university so oh, yeah. and and you know I get it it's, it's cheaper right yeah it, it, it makes sense but I will be moving out eventually even if I yeah. like I'm still in the city. Yeah. And my parents are living in the city. Yeah. I'll still move out. Like, I don't care. Exactly, yeah. No, I know. I'm moving out as soon as I can. I can dance in an iron cage. That's like literally a stripper thing. I guess I gotta practice dancing because my job at, stripper, at, yeah. seven, at 7 p.m. I'm gonna go and work at a nightclub. Yeah, I'm literally dancing in an iron cage. <laughs> That's not PG. It's really not PG. <laughs> it's oh, you're at that part. It's perfect for this dance. You wanna know what's cool? Um, is uh, so, PG. um, Michael came up with the line "That's not PG," and then Colin came up with the harmony. Oh, that's great! And then Colin had this idea to do like this really like ear rapey high note, and I think you're gonna hear it at some point. Oh my god! I heard it. Yeah. Wait, Colin Josephine. like Gasparelli? Kynar. Yeah. Yeah. Kynar's there too. <laughs> No. Fuck. Oh no, he says something about Kyra. Never mind. He did not cheat on the test, for it was not the right thing to do. Oh, this dungeon is so big. This is terrifying. Oh, this music's so fucking real. 
<laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Ether real. Ether Is that how you say it? I always thought it was ethereal. I might be ethereal. Actually, ethereal sounds cooler. Yo. Oh shit, she threw away my sword. Dumbass. Okay. She does not like pasta. She does not like should we pasta. Start fast now? Or should we wait for everyone to get here? Is this song about the cheating way. on a test? We're crashing on the show. Is there? It was the love. Oh yeah. Yo, I love, I, the way, like, I love the way she's singing this, actually. It's kind of funny sounding. It reminds me of this. The does this person I know who sings seriously like that? The, <gasps> the, way he, oh, the, way the, the way the guy's talking in the lyric sounds like Jim Morrison. Oh, you're on that song now. That's yeah. Andrew. Oh, it's Andrew. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he sounds oh, like oh, fucking John I, Morrison, dude. I know what song you're on. It's called uh, Don't Step on the Broken Glass. It's I'd so cool. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, man. I think yeah. Maddie comes in at one point. It's yeah, so I know. The way she's singing actually sounds really cool. It's like, it's goofy sounding, but like, cool too. But yeah, like, fucking, I was listening to a John Morrison song yesterday, but I was tripping balls. It was two minutes, two and a half minutes long. I thought it was 12 and a half minutes long. Well, I was tripping. I love when songs do that. And I listened to it again today, and it was literally two minutes. It was just like this weird spoken Oh yeah, I just cracked my back. That was beautiful. Oh my god. I heard like three different bones. Oh yeah. Oh my god. She's actually a good singer, I can lie. She used to suck, but. Yo, this is such a slow skip. I can tell you're enjoying it because you're, you're very quiet. Well, actually, I'm just I'm just dancing it out. I'm grinding out the stripping skills in Sims, but I am enjoying it too. But the, oh, quiet, yeah, the quietness is just due to me being stoned. <laughs> well, not really stoned. Oh, really? But you're just, feeling it? Is the really. music helping? I, the music is definitely helping it, but I'm not. it's not really that strong still. I think because. Um, you know, like the old apple revels in its authority. The acid or if the fucking like shrooms kind of like sauce, wore me down a little. Two. It's really yeah, tuna yeah, tomato tomato sauce. Sauce. Dude. yeah. Oh my uh, god, did, I'm feeling like the tiredness. Did, Wait, what? Did you you heard that last line? Right? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Does it sound like me? It. I could tell it was you actually. Oh, dude, I was so high when we recorded that line, too. I was like, yo, dude, let me put this in the song. Come on, let me do it. And he was like, all right. He just pressed record, and I just walked up to the mic. <laughs> I don't know cool. what song this is, but it sounds awesome. I think it's the last song. It's got, like, guitar and drums. Oh, yeah. This is when the album gets instrumental now. These were the last bits that Michael added. This is really cool sound. You know what's really cool, actually, what I like about the album? It, it, it's, it's bookended by instrumental songs it starts off instrumental and it ends instrumental yes yeah, so it's like it's like low david bowie first song is instrumental and then like well the last half of the album was instrumental too <laughs> yeah well I, I actually just realized that now but yeah my classical genius is bookended by instrumental songs that's fucking cool it works because uh fucking cold plays viva la vida does that um actually a lot of cold plays albums do Yo, that was fucking beautiful. Oh, did it end? No, there's two and a half minutes left. <laughs> of beauty. I was getting sad that it ended. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, it's so good. <laughs> like, it, it leads to wanting more. Yeah, what a sequel. Uh, we are, we are going to put something together, I think. Fuck yeah. You guys should, <laughs> e like, hand, you guys should make like mixtapes and hand these out to like students. You know what we're gonna do? Because I'm getting I'm getting a home studio, right? Yeah. Like in my house. So like what I'm thinking, because I'm I'm just gonna start recording from there. Yeah, man. And that way we'll be able to pump out albums way easier because we won't have to rely on the school schedule. We can okay. it can be our schedule, so I can invite people over and yeah. you can. Yeah, and I can record from my house, my house too. For, for my oh yeah. Just get stoned and like jam and then okay. just like pump out an album, dude. Because that like here's the thing, that album. My classical genius. It's it's very bare bones. Like we I know. made most cool. of that, like just putting stuff into a computer. You know what that, I mean? yeah. And we could totally do something like that again with. I know. I want to. I want to do that. It's even it's even easier in a home studio. Huh. But yeah, my classical genius. <laughs> I can't wait till we can jam in real life together. Oh yeah, dude, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I, feel so like, I feel like I feel like you would come up with like really interesting music yeah. just because of how how different we are. I know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I would. 
I wouldn't say we'd be the best at jamming, because I kind of suck at playing in key, unless I was playing a riff and then you jammed to it. But, like, what, what, but I think we'd be better at, like, writing songs in general. But, like, live jamming, it might not always sound that great, because I'd always be playing in the wrong fucking key. <laughs> but, oh, damn it, did it end? Shit. Yeah, it ended. Man. Yeah, literally, I think, I think near the end is it, like, a really weird instrumental version of Holiday. <laughs> Yo. Oh, fuck. That was so fucking cool, though. Dude, that was actually awesome. Yeah. Do you, do you want more? <laughs> I do want more. I want a sequel. I'm petitioning. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get on that. I'll definitely recruit all the same people, and I'll, I might even bring on some other people. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll take the people like that were on that album, and I'll give them, like, bigger roles. 